What's up, Channel Fred Raider? My name is Cade. I'm Jesse. And we're diving into the world of forgotten cartoons. We're counting down five cartoons we've never seen before. I mean, I haven't seen most of these. I, I haven't heard of any of the ones on this list. So we're really excited. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to become part of the notification squad. First up, we got James Bond Jr. Oh, okay. Cade, what do you think James Bond Jr. is about? It's definitely about his son. Wow, you're actually wrong. <laughs> oh, no. So it's one season long, 65 episodes. It was in 1992 is when it came out. Early 90s. Uh, and it's about his nephew. Oh, weird. My we son Jr., okay. Yeah, uh, that's not how <laughs> that naming works. Yeah, no, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, let, me, let me read you to the description off the Internet Movie Database for this. Okay. James Bond Jr. is the nephew of the famous international spy. Determined to follow in his footsteps of his famous uncle, James Bond Jr. enrolls in Warfield, a prep school based on the grounds of an old counterintelligence training base in the UK. Okay. Along with his schoolmates, IQ, grandson of Q, Gordon Leiter, son of CIA agent Felix, James Jr. fights against SCUM, an international cartel uh, of terrorists and mad scientists. Oh, so SCUM is a... Uh... It's like an acronym. Oh, what does it stand for? Uh, Saboteurs and Criminals United in Mayhem. That is such a, like, 90s thing to have, like... It wasn't like Inspector Gadget, like Claw. Like, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. So That's it's such a like 90s thing. Scum. What an interesting Goof. cartoon. Yeah. What, what other information do you have for me? Uh, that it exists on yeah. the, are, are the same plane as us. So 65 episodes in one season. In That's one season. It's pretty excessive. Yeah, and I, I feel like we should watch a clip of this. Because you've never seen it, even, like, you don't even know what this it. looks like. I have no idea. I think we need to watch a clip of this. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to be watching every cartoon that we're talking about for the first time. Yes. So let's jump into James Bond Jr. Lira, Andy. Thank you, Ed. Wait, is that James Bond Jr.? I think it is. I was expecting, like, a kid. Yeah, no, he is, like... A fully grown adult? Yeah, I was like? expecting like uh, someone much, much younger. Okay. And just... Is this Scum? I think he's part of Scum. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the dog oh. sticks his tongue out? And they're just like constantly. So this is like Kingsman, the animated series. Yeah, totally. Like, let's go. Yeah, we're, we're coming back from commercial break. Right. Now. Oh, good. Classic. Classic James Bond. What? So this is the music sounds like James Bond. It does. So this is based on a someone made a book in like that based on Ian Fleming's characters mm -hmm. that I I guess someone decided to turn into a cartoon series. Well, there's a reason why it is forgotten. Yeah. It's forgotten, but it, it still lives in the back of my head now. Uh, James Bond Jr. I'll dream of you. <laughs> Not quite, Mr. Mitchell, but very, very close. Next up, we've got Turbo Teen, starring Brett Matthews, right? You might have seen this going around the internet. Um, it had one season, about 13 episodes. This is a cartoon from the 80s, early 80s, 1984 to 1985. It uh, is very, very strange. Oh! So essentially you've got Brett Matthews, he swerves off a road during a thunderstorm and crashes into a secret government laboratory. Long story short, he's essentially fused with a car. I don't know, yeah, I, you might have seen- Is this an American show? Um, yeah, it is, it totally is. I'm pretty sure it's an American show. There's only 13 episodes. Like, if you told me it was maybe French, I'd believe you. Mm. But no, uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's English, like English so language. So it, it is, in fact, Revolutionary Girl, you know, the, the animated series. Well, I mean, the American series. I guess so. I don't know. Well, with his new superpower, Brett and his friends, Patty, a freelance reporter, mechanic Alex, who calls Brett TT, I guess for Turbo Teen, and Brett's dog, Rusty, go on crime-fighting adventures together and solve other mysteries. So again, there's only 13 episodes of the show. You might for have, good reason. Yeah, you might have seen like the famous GIF of like a teen turning into a car. That's the only thing I've ever seen of this cartoon. That. Oh, are you ready to see some more? Well, I yes, absolutely. Um, I do want to tell you that a recurring subplot involves Brett Cardwell and Doctor Chase's search for a way to return Brett to normal. So basically, throughout the show, they're trying to, you know turn him back into a regular team and not a Transformer team. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to get turned back. Well, so here's the kicker. The one thing that I do know about Turbo Team mm -hmm. is that his superpowers are only activated when he's around heat. So, like, they're heat activated. Is that how 
Well, like a combustion engine? I don't know. It's just like around heat, he turns into a car. <laughs> So a hot summer day, <laughs> yeah, if he goes to so. a sauna, someone just walks in and there's just a car there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. What about in the winter? Does it not work? I don't know. I'm, I, like only, my car. It's a very short story arc, 13 episodes, so I'm not sure they get to explore like all that sort of stuff. But. Michael Bay, reboot this. Oh, it's his dog Rusty, of course. Oh no, not now! <laughs> See? Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. A hot pizza fell on him. And so that's why he's like, oh no, not now. I have to turn into a car. <laughs> Is this a metaphor for puberty? I don't know. <laughs> Next up, we got dino saucers. Yes, and I'm actually a fan of dino saucers. I mean, I remember being a kid and being like, this idea is so cool. Uh, so dino saucers ran for about one season, again, with 65 episodes. I don't understand what this 65 episode one season thing is. Oh, no um, clue. But it was, it was late 80s, 1987, whenever uh, it ended. But the show follows the dino saucers and their battles against the evil Tyrannos. Each group is composed of intelligent anthropomorphic dinosaurs or other prehistoric saurian species. The dinosaurs are also allied with four humans known as the Secret Scouts. And basically, there are these dinosaurs <laughs> that have like a lot of robotic stuff on them. I kind of don't even want to describe it because I want you to watch it. It's definitely one of those shows that was like, let's make toys out of these or something. You know, they were trying. Are they? I got, I, I got to see a clip because I'm so curious okay. to see if this is even a toy I would want. Okay, let's watch, let's watch a clip. Any sign of the supply ship? I hate that character. Do you think they'll have any candy-covered oh, seaweed on board? <laughs> no, what, but, but they'll probably have some equipment we can borrow. Oh, because he's a bore. Oh, Remember, that's really dumb, and I wouldn't have gotten we that. Up the supplies, I was just like, what a dumb idiot. It's interesting. Um, well, I just like the idea of like dinosaurs in spaceships. I, just that concept alone is just... That pitch does make that sound a thousand times better. Right, and then so it's like one of those things where it's like, I didn't really forget the cartoon, but I forgot that it's bad. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hold um, on to that good memory, Kate. But if we could get a reboot, I, I, would, I would watch it. Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd century. So when I hear that name, I immediately think of the detective as the mouse. Oh, um, yep. the great mouse detective? Basil of Baker okay. Street. Okay, so that was not a Sherlock Holmes thing. Well, it was a Sherlock Holmes thing. Was, he, was his name Sherlock? In, no, he okay. was Basil. Okay, see, this, is, a, this is an example Street. of a cartoon that I forgot. No, no, oh, no, no. Okay, yes. In the movie, he lived in Sherlock Holmes, like, underneath uh, okay. 22-1 Baker Street or whatever. Okay. But this but, show, Sherlock this Holmes. This show, very different. Mm -hmm. Kind of. What do uh, we got? So it had two seasons with 26 episodes. Okay. Uh, it came out in 1999, ended in 2001. Oh, okay, so it's like, it's semi more recent. Re we're out of the 80s now. <laughs> yes, we're out of the 80s. We are now in the more like Adderall phase of, right. of creation. Sure, stop <laughs> inserting drugs into this. <laughs> Set in the 22nd century in London, Inspector Beth Lestrade who you might remember from the original Sherlock series. Right. This is like an ancestor. Right. Mm -hmm. The great ancestor of Lestrade comes back and is like, Moriarty's here. Uh -huh. They find Sherlock Holmes' body, mm -hmm. which is preserved okay. in honey. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're like, we need to return his youth. So they use like future technology to like return him like to life, bring him back to his apartment, which has been a museum. And they're like, also, you bet you miss your friend Watson. He's dead. Here's a robot who's going to read all of his journals and I take see. his place. Like some I black see. mirror. This is some black mirror stuff. Okay. Okay, so it's basically like a man out of time story kind of thing. Yes, a little time after time, a little bit right. just like really, uh, they were like, hey, what's in the public domain, Sherlock Holmes? Yeah, let's put him in the future because why not? Yeah. So 1999 to 2001, 26 episodes over two seasons. Um, it sounds interesting to me. I really want to check this out. It's something that I've never seen before or even heard of. All right, theme song. Oh, okay, you know, we've been so stuck in the 80s that I forgot that. Animation got better. Yeah. Back to life. Back to life. 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 No. And they just say the name of the show. Over and, and that. Oh yeah, Watson has like a robot arm that does all kinds of like. What channel stuff. was this on? I want to say it was WB. It looks like a WB. Like show. WB or like UPN. It, was like it looks like um, the same people who did Carmen San Diego. Yes. Very similar yeah, style. Totally. Um, or, oh, what was the Spider Man show when he's in the future? Like, Ultimate Unlimited Spider Man? Yeah. 
It's a long intro. And then nothing happens. And then they just drive through a clock. You will definitely recognize the show. It had three seasons with 34 episodes uh, based around this character named Captain N. You might recognize him from the Nintendo Power magazine. Uh, the funny thing about the show, though, uh, it ran from 80, 1989 to 1991. The funny thing about the show, though, is it had Mega Man in it, but a very, okay. very weird looking Mega Man. Kid Icarus. Oh. Yep. Weird choice. Uh -huh. but, wait, was it? They just called him Kid Icarus. I think so, yeah. Which yeah. is not the character's name. Correct, yeah. And, okay. Um, Simon Belmont from Castlevania. Hey, Shadows Castlevania. Yep, and it also had a very large, uh, co big computer named Game Boy. And it just looked like a Game Boy that talked. I kind of love that, though. Yeah, and then there's like one more character that I can't remember, which is why it's on the list of <laughs> cartoons you probably forgot. So let's let's check out Captain and the Game Master. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Just wait until you hear the voice acting, though. Oh, it's Wreck-It Ralph. Mega Did you hear Mega Man's voice? Yeah, I'm this sorry. is basically Wreck-It Ralph. That wasn't Mega Man, In the Man, 80s. Though. Yep, they do call him Kid Icarus. I want... I'm going to expire. So, oh yeah, so this is Mother Brain, the villain from Metroid. Yeah. But it looks nothing like Mother Brain. Why? So they basically like go on missions through the warp zone. And, oh yeah, that's him by the way. <laughs> that's him in real life. And then he gets... Sucked in, yep. Like, how good is this? Minus the fact that they were just like, you know, that character, Kid Icarus from the game Kid Icarus. Yeah, oh, that's good. He screamed for some reason. Honestly, oh, course, as a kid, I would have liked this. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, not gonna lie. Like, I love the aesthetics of it. <laughs> yeah. I would. Cool. It's just Wreck It Ralph, but also, yeah. if they rebooted that, I'd be down. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, it's forgotten. For some people, but you know, I think they should bring it back. Yeah, like I don't know why Simon Belmont looks like a big beefy <laughs> blonde guy. I don't know either. Who's like like gonna go on a, like an Indiana Jones adventure, but very strange. So those are all the cartoons that you forgot about, he forgot about, I forgot about, and we went down memory lane together, I guess. Totally. So let us know in the comments below what other cartoons that you forgot that you just found that we should watch because I want to see more really, really weird cartoons that we forgot existed. Oh! Yeah, no, just let us know in the comments below what you're watching, what you want to see us uh, try to discover. Yeah, totally. And thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you're new here to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell to become part of the notification squad, and remember, Fred Raider loves you.